remove the front wheel, use a 21 millimeter socket. Take the lug nuts off. Take the wheel off. Take this cotter pin off, use some side cutters. You can always use a pick. Just get underneath there and pry it out. Take a 22 millimeter wrench and take this nut off. Now I'm gonna use a pickle fork to separate the ball joint from the knuckle. There's many different tools you can use to uh, separate this. This just works pretty good. There we go. And slide that out of the way. Just be careful, you don't wanna pull the CV boot out too far. Now take this bolt out, use a 19 millimeter socket. Slide that out. Underneath the subframe, you're gonna to wanna to support this area right here. So we're using a screw jack and just putting a little pressure there, not too much. Take these two bolts out, use a 12 millimeter socket. Use a 21 millimeter socket, take this nut off. Make sure you hold this bracket while you do that. Take these two bolts out, use a 21 millimeter socket. Make sure you support the control arm. And slide it out. Might need a pry bar underneath here. And slide the new one, just like the old one came out. You can use a rubber mallet, just give it a tap, try to tap it in position. And use a pry bar, just pry it down. Make sure the bolt hole lines up. Get that lined up, once it's lined up, put the bolt in, get that started. Just get that close for now. We're not gonna to torque that yet. Get these bolts lined up. Snug these up. Make sure these are tight. Install this plate and the nut. These two bolts, make sure those line up first. Snug these down. Torque this nut to 107 foot-pounds. Now we can lower the pole jack. And get the ball joint lined up with the knuckle. Be careful, don't get your fingers stuck in there. Put the nut on. And tighten this down. And if you have the ability to torque this, if you can fit a torque wrench in on there, tighten that to 58 foot-pounds. If not, do the best you can. And if the cotter pin does not line up with the hole, then you can snug that nut a little bit more. Take the cotter pin, slide that through, then use some side cutters and just bend it and just trim the excess make sure it's not gonna touch the uh, the cv boot but that should be good right there when we torque this bolt we want this lower control arm as close to ride height as possible so i'm going to take the pole jack underneath the ball joint and raise it up a little bit it would be ideal to put the tire on and torque this while it's on the ground, but that's not the easiest thing to do. And torque this bolt to 103 foot-pounds. Lower the pole jack.
put the wheels back on and the lug nuts now i'm going to torque the lug nuts to 80 foot pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly just go around again double check Keep in mind after you're done doing this repair, you need to take the vehicle to a local shop to have it aligned. Otherwise you're gonna have premature tire wear.